Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And today I just wanted to talk about more gallons. So a lot of you know, um, well, not a lot of you, but a few of you, very few, know me prior to um, this year, last year. And I have more gallons, nanobots, and parasites. And I just wanted to share what I've known to assist me with my Morgellons with some of you because a lot of you are struggling and it is something that is, you know, when you get these sores, they're, they're very painful. So Morgellons, you can attract, contract Morgellons with the things in the air, nanobots, the, what is it called? Chemtrails with our foods, the chemicals that we put inside and on our body causes Morgellons and it was done for sinister reasons. The elite made Morgellons for sinister reasons to keep you as a slave. But there's two sides to Morgellons. There's a mundane side inside of the world and there's a spiritual side outside of the world. The spiritual portion that I'd like to discuss will be on the later half of this video. But so we know the elite created it for sinister reasons to keep us docile, to keep you ill, to keep you as a slave, to keep you, sad to say, in control. Morgellons can and nanobots, they can once that so-called switch is turned on. And I know this is kind of deep for a lot of you, but you got to think about it. Why are they doing this? What are the reasons behind it? And those are some of the reasons. Those cell phone towers are not out there for nothing. We have metals inside of our body, Morgellon fibers inside of our body that move. So now that you know how you get it and why it's done, there are two types, like body types. One, people out there that have Morgellons, because everybody has it, their body reacts differently to Morgellons. And there's another set of group of people whose body doesn't react to Morgellons at all, but they still have it. It's just not shown outwardly. They're eating the same thing you're eating, breathing the same air you're breathing, drinking the same water you're drinking, but their body is just not reacting the way your body is reacting. So I've come up with these five things that assisted me. And if you stick with them, you will see very little outbreaks. You'll see very little outbreaks and you'll be able to change your body for the better. So let me tell you this. When you get more gallons, some people think that it's uh, rosacea. Am I saying that right? Or eczema or acne. And it's not. But when you get it, it, it's very, it takes a long time for it to heal. Crystals come out of your sores. The, the skin is hard to, like hard plastic. And your blood is different. It's just a lot of different things with Morgellons. There's a gentleman who uh, is like an expert in it, so to speak. I'll put his information in the description box. Some of you guys probably already know him. Maybe you can put it, um, list his name down under. But uh, he, he's done a lot of research on it. But these sores are very painful. They're very, very painful. And they take a long time to heal. Um, like I mentioned before, but they're crystals that come out of your, your pores. And there's a spiritual component to that too. But I just wanted to tell you that there's five things that will assist you on healing yourself rapidly from Morgellons. If you stick with this and make it a part of your permanent routine, fasting and detoxing the body. We all know what fasting and detoxing the body can do. The next one, that's number one, urine therapy. Number two, we all know if you're not afraid of your urine and you take care of your body, you eat properly, urine therapy, I'm not going to go into detail and make the video too long, is number two way to help you eliminate Morgellon fibers from your body along with the other items that I'm about to talk about. Do your research before you turn a blind eye to urine therapy. Do your research. Number three is 
changing your diet. You must change your diet. Your body is allergic to all of the shit that's out there. It's allergic to all the chemicals, everything you put in your body and on your body, it's allergic to. But changing your diet, going, transitioning to a vegan, a raw vegan for at least six months to a year. I know it sounds drastic, but it's worth it. It's worth your sanity. It's worth your life. It's worth feeling good. Do it for just six months to a year and then eventually implement cook vegan foods into your diet until you don't see the fibers anymore, until you don't see the outbreaks anymore. The next one is herbs. I think we're on number four, herbs. So there's a lot of herbs out there that can help you get rid of the heavy metals that are in your body. There's like cilantro, chlorophyll, um, activated charcoal, spirulina, tons. Do your research and find more herbs to assist you with removing those metals and purifying your blood. When you purify your blood, particles like Morgellons cannot stay. There was uh, number five is your environment. Changing your environment inside and out. This is an air purifier. I have two of these. They run probably about one sixty five to two hundred dollars. I have two in my in this room that I live in. This is the room that I frequent, so I've got two going at all times. Change your cleaning supplies, shampoos, tampons, all of that stuff has chemicals in it that's affecting your skin. Everything you touch, put in your body should be edible. Or somewhat chemical free. If you can't read all of the chemicals that you're using on your countertops or washing your clothes with, nine times out of ten it's going to affect your body. Especially if you have outward Morgellons. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was oh that it didn't even work right. Next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, spiritual. So real quick, spiritual. This is a spiritual portion, right? So spiritually, everything is spiritual. That was the mundane. This is the spiritual. Spiritually, your body is changing over. Your body is changing over with the earth. It cannot go into higher dimensions if it's not purified. Your body is forcing yourself to purify it. The crystals are you turning into a crystallized being. Your body is transforming. But because you have outbreaks and because you're continuously putting bad things inside of your body and on your body, you're going to have those outbreaks. And you will see when you start to mess with the, the sores that crystals will start to form. And it's a good thing. Crystals are a good thing. But you have to, it's trying to show you where your body needs to be corrected. There's a lot of individuals out there who have Morgellons and that show it, but when their body called for correction, they corrected it and they didn't look back. They turned vegan, raw vegan, and they never looked back. It's been their whole life and you will not see any outbreaks on them. And they're able to move into higher dimensions. And once a lot, and some people, not a lot, but some people, once they got into a higher dimension, were able to go back to some cooked foods, a few meats, but they eat very clean. They make sure there's no chemicals. They're doing organic. So what I wanted to say prior to me saying all this is Morgellons is a form of awakening. It's a form of awakening. It's your body changing over to the new dimensions and you have to assist it in the process or else this is the outcome. Right? This is the outcome. So some people I feel that are not 
going through these symptoms right now will go through their symptoms later on in their awakening. They will definitely go through their symptoms because everyone is not meant to awaken right now. This is why a lot of people you see, they have more gallons, but they're not showing it. Once they start to show the symptoms of more gallons, if they keep feeding their body poison, they will see it during their awakening. There's times and shifts when these awakenings take place. All right. So just know spiritually you're climbing higher dimensions and you need to assist your body and stop doing what your body can no longer take. It can't tolerate all the toxins that we're putting in it to move into higher dimensions so we can purify our blood and become crystallized beings. All right. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing, but you have to assist your body in eliminating and never ever reintroducing chemicals and bad things into it because it will just come back. And who knows what will happen when you're in higher dimension. Well, you can't get there unless you purify your body anyway, so that won't take place. It's just going to prolong you from getting to a higher dimension. I hope you were able to understand what I was trying to convey. Thank you so much for... Um, watching this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It'll let me know what I'm able to produce in the future. Take care.